every once in a while I'll do something like this. To give a shout out to the person or people or whatever my shirt is at the time. Alright, um, we have a situation in Missouri going on where <clears throat> they had medical marijuana. It looked like it was going to be on the ballot. The state has a CBD marijuana thing going on. It's not a very uh, good program. So the people wanted to put a real medical marijuana to the test to the question to the voters and like in Michigan and like so many other places where they are trying to get things on the ballot be it medical marijuana or full legalization um, the powers that be <clears throat> mainly courts uh, mainly county circuit courts or appeals courts or even in my legalizes case on my legalizes case the actual Michigan Supreme Court going against you. In this case, it's a Cole County Circuit Judge Daniel Green that ruled the when the Missouri Secretary of State and local election authorities um, <clears throat> invalidated hundreds of petition signatures that had been collected uh, apparently on the wrong county form or whatever. This is all contested and there's court cases that happened and one of them was this one. The ruling effectively kills any chance for medical cannabis measure to make the November ballot. Now that's the update, all right? So that was that was today at like 4 p.m. That was the update. The judge said no. The the Secretary of State and local authorities did act properly, and what they did when they invalidated those signatures was okay, was legal, and. He's all right with it. So there's, you know, that's basically the, the ruling that the judge had. Now, just to bring you up to speed with the story, uh, the Missouri Secretary of State was in court arguing that the ballot initiatives to legalize pot for cancer patients and others suffering from chronic ill, uh, chronic pain came up short in the number of signatures required, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> It comes down to 23 signatures was the old contention because they shot down a bunch of uh, signatures and the signatures got recounted and when you did the math there was still 23 in contention. Um, but the judge's ruling today is far more than them 23. It's, it's basically hundreds of signatures that were in contention that the ruling today affected. So, um, basically, to put it, to make a long story short, no, the medical marijuana is not going to be on the ballot in Missouri in November. I mean, we're, we're running up on less than 50 days here before the election, so um, there's deadlines. And apparently the deadline has passed, and it's, it's a done deal there, too, so even if somehow... A reversal of this judge's decision happened and all the signatures were allowed and I believe they had more than enough signatures but the ones that were in contention was uh, you know not counted but whatever uh, the trial revolves around um, a lot of technicalities and arguing over some handwriting and in individual petitions now a lot of times petition drives go unnoticed and they, the petitions come through and they get all the things, they do all the things they need to do and no one has any contention but when it's something like this um, they scrutinize every little signature. Uh, there was 12 Missouri prosecutors that were heavily uh, inter invested in this case as well as the Secretary of State, uh, prosecutors and such none of them want to see this pass so sorry about that Missouri bad news